Hey guys, welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved Official Small Tribes PvP on Genesis. And guys, in this video, you guys are going to be so happy. As you can probably tell by the thumbnail and the title, it is true. It's true. Guys, at the start we have to defend once again. This is continuing off from that raid we are doing in the previous video. I help out a little bit more in that raid and uh, do a bunch of defense at the start. Look forward to the rest of the video, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bells. So a lot of you guys aren't subscribed, and I'd be happy if you could subscribe. It help me out a lot. You guys are legends, and thank you so much for all the amazing support in these past videos and in my daily uploads. Guys, I'm sorry, I know a lot of you guys are asking for Crystal Eye or stuff and what I'm doing for that. However, I really want to try and take the fight to other people that have been messing with us the whole time and continue this series on as much as possible. I might try and go for some like early game PvP for some fun at the start. But guys, let me know what you think about that. Because, I don't know, I'm going back to work and it's really hard to do the early grind when I'm at work. This whole time that I've been doing this series, I haven't been at work and I've just been kind of smashing the videos out for you guys, so yeah, that's where I'm sitting at the moment. So this is basically what they do every time. They come here for a little bit, start to defend, and they just TP out straight away. And then within about 10 minutes later, I go AFK for a little bit just to kind of like wait. And then he'll start destroying spam again. And then he'll TP out again. So I just sit above with the shotgun and uh, shoot him. And one, like, it's it's really good for that because like, you can, you can keep on him pretty well. So you can keep on him pretty damn quick and pretty well. So it's time to defend against him again. So I pushed up with the heavy turret to kind of push him back so he can't keep putting his shield up right in front of my cave and I could keep shotgunning him. This prevents them putting the shields up so it's an amazing idea. He could get destroyed but it helps me out. I decided to push straight in. Well, actually this was the raid that we are doing while I was defending. They brought two mechs all of a sudden out to our fob. So I had to go back over and actually help them. Um, I know I said that the raid was over in the last video but there was still a little bit of like bits at the end. We ended up killing these two mechs in the end. I just wasn't right on it. As you can see, it got shoved off the edge and yeah. <laughs> I saved myself by shotgunning the ground and then the different angles to project myself to the area that I wanted to go. It's uh, expensive, but it works. I'm back up here. And then he's back again. So I'm back on him again with the shotgun. Pretty high damage shotgun as well. So it should be doing a lot of damage to him. Tech rifles are good, but they've just got too much travel time and you can't keep on them when they're hovering in the sky. It's too much travel time in, in tech guns. They do a lot of damage to them, but shotguns, you can always hit them. So it's always going to do a lot of damage to them. And look at him. He's terrified of me. He keeps, he keeps aiming me up straight away. He's like... And the, and the gun on the mech does damage. So... As soon as I got the Ferox out as well, he started to run. Because the Ferox does a lot of damage. Does a heck of, heck of a lot of damage through the mech shields. So keep that in mind, guys. <laughs> yeah, forget, completely forgot all about them. They were going to raise them. Now they're just like, now where did I leave them? Yeah. 9.5s. Dude, I'm so keen to farm like a slot cap. Ugh. 
It's a lot cap of um, ambiguous and then just like when Triangle Gang's not on, just literally sit above their base and just drop bombs on them and just murder all their fucking dinosaurs. Just sit above their base, just fucking dropping shits on them. I'm gonna jump on my blood stalker and go above him and just piss him off. So the same with the uh, mech, you do the same with the magma saw. If you have like three guys out, blood stalkers above, shoot with a shotgun, you can stop them pretty quick. Even if they have a good saddle, it's still going to do damage. Most of the time, they'll use a damage magma saw rather than a HP one, and you should be able to do a lot of damage to them. In this case, he actually had a mate on a blood stalker protecting him, so I had to try and fight him at the same time. There was three guys in, I was on my own for most of the time. Come back here, bitch. He's over here, dude. He's just out near the end of the pillar. He's up in the air, and he's... But that was definitely... If that was Carpen suiciding in just then, then it was definitely Carpen doing it, unless they're just teaming. But yeah. Oh, Bloodstalker's back. Oh, he's got a turtle. He's coming in with a turtle, dude. Switch out with your kits because there's a bloodstalker sitting up on the left side. Ready to grab. See you see him? It's straight up there. There he is, he's up in, the guy's up in the sky. He's trying to build it. He's trying to build it right now. I'm going out, fuck it. Two blood stalkers here, so one of them's his. They're out here with the turtle. He's coming in for C4 again. How do you get away? How's he getting away every time? He's going to the turtle, he's going to the turtle. He's going to his blood stalker. There's two blood stalkers out here. I'm 
when we go get a wreck, so we'll probably get grabbed off of it. Just keep them busy, you guys. Watch out, Ardo, you've got, like, you're gonna get grabbed. Alright, there's bear traps under it, so if it moves now, it's gonna get bear trapped. Just keep them distracted so they don't teleport, and I'll go get the, get the melee wrecks. So I decided to get a Ferox instead. However, there's a glitch where you go to enlarge it, and it goes back to a previous location. This bear trap, I might get bit. I might get bear trapped. Oh, you fucking POS of a fucking Ferox. I can't use this one. It just, like, teleported back behind the fucking fence supports. So I headed out with the Rex anyway. It doesn't do amazing damage against it, it kind of sucks, but it was my best way of not getting attacked by the other guys. Did you pick up that bear trap or something? Oh, no, I should be right. I'm just going to sit under it like this. They're trying to get me as much as they can. Oh, they're focusing on you guys. Is it somehow the way they kill this fighter? Because this Rex is just not doing a fucking job. Who joined? I had to run back inside. As you can see, I was about to pass out. I needed water. And if I did pass out, it would have been super bad. Oh, there's a Ferox? Is that us? No? I'm fucked. Yeah, I just got knocked off. I'm getting knocked off constantly. It's got constant knockoff. Honestly, in my opinion, I don't know if anybody else agrees with this, but I think the Ferroxes are extremely, extremely overpowered. Um, they can constantly knock you off of teams. There's no cooldown, you can do it like a normal attack, it's almost like the snow owl problem all over again. But this thing, these ones here that they're using have 1600 damage, so they literally annihilate you and just knock you off your teams constantly. So you can guarantee right now I'm getting pretty triggered. I'm dead. Broken bones. Fuck off man! Fucking over Feroxes. It's fucking making me hate the game. So one of the best things to do, when you know they're about to teleport, is to grab out a rocket launcher, do damage to the player, it stops the teleport. Um, also to blow up the box of the uh, soaker as well. If you blow that up, then they can't soak without getting hurt, and it helps you out. I tried using a homing missile on that, and it's just too fast, it does nothing, they're useless against them. Shooting their box. I shot a homing rocket, homing rockets are useless by the way. They're teleporting. I can't get down quick enough. Get down. He fell out. He jumped out. He jumped out. Rock Ferox just layered you with a bullet. That Ferox aim though? <laughs> I haven't got many rockets left, I think I've got two rockets left. This is my last rocket. He's gonna try and teleport again. I've got no rockets left. Pulled him out of it. Pulled him out of it. Attack, attack. Attack, attack.
He's back off of it, he's back off of it. Oh! There's a guy right there, straight down. I have to land again before I can grab him again. You need to get his body. Where's his kit? Nah, he's landing again. He's landing again. You can't move that fast when he gets shunted. What your fuck? What the fuck killed you? He didn't even attack! Oh no, I just saw that. Got him again? Got him again? Come down, straight down, straight down! So we ended up getting this guy, and everything was gone. We actually stole their Ferox once again. Sadly, my footage room, my hard drive space ran out. We actually killed this Mega, and we stole his Ferox. It was actually a big meme. It was the second one we actually got of their uh, Feroxes, and it was overpowered as well. But yeah, sorry I didn't actually get that footage, it cut out. But guys, time to move on to something you've all been waiting for. They used the tactic that I said to use to raid 99's top base. And that is to use a skiff to soak their top part of their base and then blow in from the side and come in with the skiff from above. And it worked perfectly. So time to go wipe them now. At least their top base. The crafting station will be later on. I rocked up a little bit late. They had already started. This is like early morning, freezing cold. I'm shivering and stuff. Here, keen to see this drop. He's on the roof, by the way, so be careful when you rock it. Yeah, because... <laughs> Be very, very careful. Oh, oh, I'm not off, I'm not off. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yeah. Here. Oh. Oh, didn't I give you debt? Come back, come down. Oh, okay, that's fine. Let's play this one where Ardo was saying first, the middle one. Yeah, I'm out of the way. We need about f That's a lot of hide. Yep. Crap, it's just random shit. No, the skiffs will fall, won't they? Blow. Gas needs some shitty ammo. Uh, fur armor and stuff in one of them. Uh, just melee weapons. There's nothing underneath that, is there? I thought there'd be two bags in that. Oh shit, almost went off the edge. Nothing. Nothing. I think there was two vaults here though. 
Sadly, as you guys can probably tell, they've moved a lot of their stuff to that tree base that I've shown in a pre previous video. However, taking down this base like this, it's, oh, it just feels so satisfying. Taking out one of the bases is just so damn satisfying, guys. This is one down, more to come. It's payback time. And this is going to really, really, really trigger them. You guys will find out that this triggers them. And look at that loot. We've got a bunch of uh, railguns. We needed them. They're free. So we got a bunch of hide and stuff, nothing amazing, but like I said, the satisfaction of taking this base down and them not having it anymore was just, it was everything. Yeah, I don't know how. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh fucking C4 on. Going down, Ardo, finish it off, Ardo, finish it off. You got this. Take out your frustration. Are you blowing that other Jenny over there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hoping you were going to do that. Oh, 100%, yeah. No, you will reach all the way down to that dude. Fuck! I don't think I have any fuel in it, dude. I've got 45%. I saved Yardu! For the third time. <laughs> So our idea was to press C, use the C attack, which would fall down on top of their base without being shot by turrets. However, we were just out of range. Just, if we were just a little bit lower, we could have taken out all these turrets below and wiped their craft from the station today. So we're going to have to come back and do this another time, guys. But, we will be back. Or well, at least I will be. I'm getting... I uh, can't, can't cry. I'm sucky. <laughs> do I? I do. I can jump, but I'll probably die doing so. By the way, guys, if you want to see the start of this raid, like what happens before I got here, make sure you guys go over and check out Ardo's channel. It's in the description. He will upload that eventually, and you guys will be able to see what happened at the start. And that the idea that I came up with and they ended up doing actually worked. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty exciting day for us all. Me. Let me board as well. Okay. Okay. Just go. If I drop, I drop. Out, out safely. I reckon some of them are going to quit after this. They're going to come and attack, and then they're going to quit. You're raiding my greenhouse! You're raiding my greenhouse! I see you! So guys, that's the end of another video. If you guys are keen to see the rest of the wipe after we've just wiped one of their bases, when I actually go back to their crafting station, it's a very controversial where thing that happened um i'm not going to mention it. it's another thing to do with teaming um then look forward to the videos if you can like comment subscribe and share the video turn on notification bells and get keen let me know down below how keen you are